All right, it's that time again, November monthly recap. And even though I made money this month, just like every other month, and if you're a trader, you'll know this, it's never good enough. You can always make improvements. There's always mistakes that you made, things that you can do better. So weirdly, when you kind of get deep into this game, I'm four years in. And when you get past the first few years and then you finally get to a point of being consistently profitable, the most important thing to you is trading well and then just trying to get a little bit better. Some of the mistakes that you used to make prior, just try to make them less. And then maybe some of the opportunities that you didn't take advantage of prior, try to take advantage of them moving forward. So yeah, I made money, but there was a little bit of a rocky period this month. So November was great and I'm happy that I came out green, but I still made a lot of mistakes and I could have traded much better. And if you're an active trader, you'll totally understand where I'm coming from. I don't think there's ever a month where I say, oh, I did everything perfect and it was fantastic and I'm super happy with everything and I give myself an A+. And in my little circle of traders from you know Instagram to Twitter, you know everybody who I communicate with, I don't think they've ever said that as well. It's this endless game of trying to chase perfection, but there is no such thing as perfection. So it's always trying to get better and always working on just trying to become an overall better trader. And for anybody who may be a little newer watching, like that never ends. The progress never ends. The emotions never end because even if you get really good at trading a certain size, the goal is to obviously try to trade a little bit bigger. So it's just new problems. You take a step up, you got to deal with new problems. So it's a forever thing. And that's why trading is so tough and also why I like it so much because it's a constant challenge. And in a lot of ways, it's like a performance sport. And I think that's why I'm so passionate about it. And regardless of the ups and downs, I keep on coming back. All right. So now to get into the trades. So here is my broker statement. I use interactive brokers for everybody who doesn't know already. There's my name, Matthew Evan Diamond, November 1 to November 30. And they break it down into two separate sections. They separate it between stock and options. I trade options majority of the time, but I'll trade stock maybe if the options are spready or if they're really expensive going into an event. I just choose that. That's my preference. So when it comes to stock, I actually did okay. I made $2,806 and I had a couple nice wins. So I had a nice win on Neo. This was a little bit of a crazy day. And then I also had a nice win on Roku, made $1,363, lost some money on Zoom. Nice win on Baidu. So not a whole lot going on, but had some nice winners in there. And then obviously going down to the options part, traded BA a lot. BA caught momentum. So ended up trading it numerous days in a row. Baba, Facebook, traded Target, made like 76 bucks on it. Didn't really get much going there. And then Tesla, which is my main name that I like to trade almost every single day. And I traded a lot every single month. So made 2,806 bucks trading stock and then ended up making $8,744 trading options, which was a total for $11,551, minus the $4.50 in data fees, made $11,546, which is great. But even though that's great, just look at some of the negatives. So overall trading Tesla was okay, but there were some days where I let some of those losers get a little out of hand. So just looking at the big losers, losing 2,600 bucks, 2,600 bucks, losing $3,900. And a lot of these are numerous trades in a row. So taking one, two, three trades on Tesla, and then they all kind of add up to that really big loser. And then I did have the really nice win, $6,426, which is fantastic. But just realizing that if I can do better at avoiding those big losses, it can add so much more to the PL. Right here, 2,600, 2,600, 3,900. We're talking about $9,000 in losses. Now, I'm not assuming that I won't lose something. So even if it's just cutting those down by half, you know, I could have easily added anywhere from about three to $5,000 on the month. So instead of being what still is a great month at 11.5, probably being closer to like 15 or 16, just by being a little bit more disciplined and cutting those losers a little quicker. And I know Tesla's crazy and sometimes things happen, but that's something that I'm constantly trying to work on. And I think will just forever be something that I have to get better at. And a lot of those losses came within a two week period. So just to go to show probably the most important graph, look from the 11th to the 18th. That is a bit of a roller coaster ride. A lot of up and down swings with my PL. And I tell you, if anybody can relate, like I know what I'm doing, I feel really good about my strategy. 
I'm a consistently profitable trader, but even when you know what you're doing, you're still going to have your moments where you kind of go through some stuff and maybe the performance is not that great. And when you go through it, even if you've gone through it before, it doesn't feel good and it sucks. And you have to really stay kind of mentally and psychologically strong because you can have that voice in the back of your head kind of tell you otherwise. And then especially when going through a period like this, where I went through, one of the worst things to do, which I'm guilty of, is to go on social media and look at the performance of how other people are doing, look at big P&Ls, because then you start to really doubt yourself and you let the voices in your head say, I can't believe you're not taking advantage of this. Everyone else is making money, I'm missing out. And then that's when things can really start to just spiral out of control. And I don't care what anybody says. All traders go through it. I just think with experience, you get better at dealing with it and then bouncing back eventually. So I'm not going to lie. I had a tough time in these two weeks. And lucky enough, I was able to bounce back and then end the month strong. And this is an important thing for me to reflect on and just realize that when I go through this again, because I'm going to go through it. If you're a trader, you're going to go through it, that I have the confidence deep down to just eventually get out of it. So that was the biggest takeaway. And even though it wasn't perfect, I can't be upset about making $11,546 in profits. And I can't believe it's already December, but the goal is to finish strong because it's been a pretty solid year. And that's the monthly recap. Hopefully you had a solid November. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.